Hello everyone and welcome back to my indoor vegetable gardening channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am going to show you exactly how I feed the vegetables. I've been doing this for years outside and it is the simplest and most effective way to get the maximum yield out of all of your vegetables. So please join me and watch and I hope you enjoy. So what I have here is the simplest nutrient and the most effective nutrient where you can get maximum yields out of your vegetables. Simple worm castings. I've been using this for years. I've tried many different vegetable fertilizers and this is the simplest. Worm castings are loaded with nitrogen, phosphates and potassium and they also contain calcium and an absorption chemical called magnesium that actually allows the plants to absorb the nutrients from the worm castings. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do this instantly because they are solid, they have no smell whatsoever, but they do need to be high pressure dissolved into the pot. So what I have here is a six liter or about a one and a half gallon watering can. And I'm going to put in exactly one quarter cup of worm castings. Okay, then I'm going to have this on a fairly wide jet spray and I'm going to dissolve this as the pot fills up and then you will see that it is absolutely completely dissolved and ready to go right into the vegetables. So I finished dissolving all of the worm castings and as you can see it's a little difficult to tell but the water is black. That means all of the worm castings have fully dissolved and they're ready to be poured into the vegetables. All right, so I finished feeding all of the vegetables. I just want to put in a couple of disclaimers. Do not feed peas because peas produce enough nitrogen and minerals organically through the roots and they need no other fertilizer or food. I learned this many years ago and I stuck to it and they simply do not need anything. All right, so there's a little bit of a tip. I'm done feeding everything and now I'm going to show you exactly what the garden looks like one week after the first video. So here are the beans that I showed you in the last video. It is about one week since I shot the last one and I'm gonna show you something absolutely incredible. This is just after five weeks Take a look at all the beans that are coming. It is absolutely amazing. And now let's take a look at these peas. This is unbelievable. These Lincoln peas are almost to the roof. So that's almost seven feet high. And I just see a faint hint of the bloom starting. But the nice thing with peas is that the bigger they grow before they bloom, the more blooms and the more peas you will get. You can see here, these are the Alaska peas and they are growing very quickly now. They were slower to start, but they are a bit of a more compact pea and we will have lots of peas from that as well. Here you can see the lettuce is actually going insane. It is so big and very, very tasty. Here we have the bell peppers. As you can see, they've grown quite a bit already since last week and that's really exciting. My spinach is coming nicely and the carrots are unbelievable. They're almost a foot tall. So here's the tomatoes and this is unbelievable. They are almost three feet high and I'm going to show you there's actually blooms just starting. This is just after five weeks in. This is incredible. So thank you for watching again today. I hope this is very interesting and very informative for you. The next video, I will start going into what the basic costs were. I got almost everything off of Amazon because it was by far the cheapest. The prices do vary from week to week, but I will give you a rough cost of everything and I will include what all of those items total. And then I will give you another update on the garden. I encourage you to ask a lot of questions in the feed and please subscribe and hit the subscribe button uh, bell that you see on the side to be notified of my next video. I will be posting many more videos and I can't wait to show you when everything is finally fruiting and it's ready to harvest. 
The beans will be ready probably within about a week to two weeks. Thank you so much. Have a great day.